Hello everyone, my name is Jacqueline Burkpile and I am the editor for EWTN's Church Pop, the English edition. I'm here with Roxanne Dawson, the director of the 20th Century Fox movie Breakthrough. The movie covers the true story of Joyce Smith and her adopted son, John. John fell through the ice and was underwater for about 15 minutes and came back to life after his mother, Joyce, prayed to God to save her son. Hi, Roxanne. How are you doing? I'm good, thanks. How are you? I'm good. Um, thank you so much for meeting with me today. I know it's a lot in your busy schedule. So <laughs> let's just get started on our interview. So can you just give me a little bit of an overview of your background? I know you, were, you um, have been an actress in Hollywood and now you're directing. So um, I know one of your major acting projects was uh, Star Trek Voyager. Yes. Yes, that's actually where I began directing. I actually began my career in New York in theater. I did um, a chorus line on Broadway in the first uh, production and ended up closing the show in 1989. Then came to Los Angeles and began um, acting, um, after acting on stage in New York, uh, acting in television movies in Los Angeles, and then landed uh, a role in Star Trek Voyager where I began directing as well. We were on for seven years, and um, that's where I began to learn how to direct, and that now is uh, almost 20 years ago that I've been now directing, so it's gone by really, really fast. Yeah, that's amazing. Uh, so why why did you decide to direct Breakthrough, this particular movie? What about the story inspired you? I was drawn to Breakthrough because the story, well, when I read the script, it was just, um, I read it again because I couldn't believe it. It was just such a miraculous and beautiful story about a boy, you know, he was uh, drowned in a, in a frozen lake under the ice for 15 minutes they worked with him CPR for almost 45 minutes after that he was at a heartbeat without a heartbeat for almost an hour his mother came in to pray when she was supposed to go in there to say goodbye and instead he got a heartbeat and I think what's wonderful about the film and the script when I first read it is that it's not even so much about the miracle it's about what the miracle does to the community what it does to the family and it's really it's a testament to community to to the power of prayer, um, to the power of um, belief, and ultimately um, the power of love. It really, uh, and the fact that it's true is just, you know, gives you chills. I think when you really go through the story and you see the real people at the end of this film and know that everything that you've just seen is true. And that was a very important to me to, to stay true to the script, to stay true to their lives because you know, this is a movie, this is their life, you know. I really wanted to stay true to that, and um, I think we did. They, we got their thumbs up on it. It was very beautiful. I watched it on Sunday, oh. and my husband and I were just, we were in tears almost the whole time. <laughs> so, <laughs> it was beautiful. I just, I, I, I honestly was just so blown away by how y'all just made the story come to life. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. So... Did you are a convert to the Catholic faith? And I am. Can you tell me a little bit about that? And did it drive your? Uh, did it drive? Did your Catholic faith drive your career and the impact this movie? Well, my faith definitely um, impacted my telling of the movie, my interest in doing the movie, and. The experience of doing this film, I think, strengthened my faith. Um, it was really, it was a wonderful period of time from beginning to end. Uh, the whole process, I think, um, was a very spiritual experience for me. Uh, I am a convert to the Catholic Church. Um, I grew up in a house that was a devout atheist. And uh, I met my future husband, who is Catholic, and I converted in order for us to be married and really found a home in, in the Catholic Church. And a lot of it made sense to me. So it wasn't just for the marriage. It was that um, what I was learning as I went through the RCIA program is that, that you know, that really affected me and made not only spiritual sense but logical sense to me. And I, I really had found a home in the Catholic Church. That's beautiful. So... Did your Catholic faith impact this movie? Because I saw a few crucifixes in the background. Did you have anything to do with that? 
Well, we definitely put them in places that they would logically be. They are in the house of, um, of Joyce and John Smith. I mean, they're there. He went to a uh, Christian school, so they would be there. And the hospital was also um, a Christian hospital. So we had them in appropriate places, um, not to hit anybody over the head with them, but I'm certainly not going to get rid of these crosses if they should naturally be there. Right. Um, and I thought that was amazing. I was like, oh, look, there's a crucifix. <laughs> <laughs> I saw at least two or three, so that was amazing. Yeah. So how does your faith drive or how does it drive your career how does it impact how does it strengthen you um in hollywood well hollywood is pretty much a secular place and sometimes i mean even the fact that you have to be surprised that you were able to see a crucifix in a film that has sort of a a faith-based theme is kind of interesting um it's very secular uh I think that one of the things I loved about doing this film, it was one of the first times I could really bring how I felt about my faith um, to the screen. Um, A lot of times I try to do that in smaller ways, but a lot of the subject matter in Hollywood uh, doesn't allow for that. So in terms of Hollywood and my faith, I think my faith just kind of strengthens me to sometimes get through some of the things in Hollywood and and to try to interject my what I believe in and the the faith that I follow into the work that I do in terms of my relationship with the people that I work with. Um, I think that the best example that you can give, I think, about any faith or religion is to try to be as good a person as possible when you are around other people so that they can say, wow, that person's a Catholic, maybe I I would want to explore that too, you know, or a Christian or, you know, whatever it is. I think that that's sort of where it comes into my work. Do you think you have influenced anyone in Hollywood in your faith? You know, I think so. I mean, I don't have any any complete proof of that, but I know I've had many... Um, when you're working on a crew, you are with people for 12, sometimes 17 hours a day. They become your family. And they're... I mean, right now I'm working on a show where we're working all night. So, you know, I start now and I'll be working until 5 or 6 o'clock tomorrow morning. And you're in all these crazy places. And you sometimes find these moments to just talk about life and philosophy and religion. And um, and it's just kind of fascinating how you can touch people, how they can touch you when you start to really learn about them and learn who they are. So I think in those wee hours of the morning, you know, and those crazy times that I'm working in strange places, it's amazing the kinds of people that you can touch. That's amazing. That is really amazing. <laughs> so um, are there any secrets of the set on the set that uh, you would like to share, such as like conversions or miracles or um, just anything that we, that the viewers might be interested in hearing? Well, we had a lot of occurrences that seemed um, uh, somewhat um, miraculous. And thank you. Um, A lot of, um, you know, it's, it's hard to detail them all. I mean, everything from the place that we were shooting, the lake sequence, their, um, their motto for their small town was uh, uh, where the impossible happens. And the original story of this was the impossible, you know, and we went, okay, that's kind of weird. And um, to, uh, oh my gosh, there were just so many interesting things that happened to an inscription on the wall of the house that we used for, uh, for Joyce's home. None of us saw it when we chose this location, but we were sitting there one day while we were shooting and I looked up and it's, um, and it's, uh, it's, it's, it's a uh, scripture by Luke. It's the, um, uh, do, you, do you know which one I'm talking about? The, uh, uh, about making the impossible happen. Oh. I mean, it was, um, all things are possible. Uh, it was just so beautiful. We looked up and went, did anybody see that when we were scouting this location? And nobody had seen that. Oh, wow. It was just really <laughs> interesting because this is exactly what Joyce would have put up in her house as well. And um, there were just little moments throughout. I think that, it's so funny. I think that the cast became very close and everybody came to do this for their own personal and spiritual reasons. Mm-hmm. I've never been a cast that's been so, um, expressed such blessings, you know, and gratitude for being able to do something like this. So that was, that was just really, really great. And of course we have Devon Franklin, who's just an amazing pastor 
who prayed over us when we began, and sometimes we would, we'd begin the day with a prayer, and it would just sort of settle everybody, focus us, and, you know, we've got a lot of denominations and um, different ways that people pray, but we were all sort of together on our journey in this film. That's so amazing. It sounds like the Holy Spirit was just guiding the whole process. <laughs> it felt it really did. So... What would you say to young people who are looking to get into Hollywood but are afraid of compromising their values? How would you encourage them? Well, you know, it's interesting. Um, I just mentioned Devon Franklin. He wrote uh, a book called uh, The Hollywood Commandments. And it's a really, I would highly recommend it because it really talks about how to, um, how to not betray your faith and be in the world of Hollywood and that's it's a very it's a very difficult thing to do but I think the more people that are spiritual that have faith and can enter Hollywood I think we have the possibility of having a bigger voice there so that's what I'm looking forward to I would encourage anybody with a voice to start writing things you know that we can produce and we can do it so that we can reach out and, and have a voice in Hollywood um, you know I just think that uh, Hollywood often preaches tolerance, but yet isn't as tolerant as they should be. And I think here's an opportunity to really take advantage and make them practice what they preach, you know? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Thank you for that. So how can Christians make a change and encourage more wholesome content in Hollywood? Because sometimes it's really hard to find. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, it's... Um, it's very hard to find sometimes. I think, um, I think sometimes we're living in a world that is very cynical and seems to look at at the world and and our country in a very negative way. I think there is room for another voice there that really can uplift the values that this country was founded on and also find things of hope in life, um, struggles where people have succeeded and found a way out and. I think that any, I mean, I'm directing The Deuce right now, which is not at all the same audience as Breakthrough. It's, it is, uh, it's about the 70s and 80s in the, in, the, in the porn era when people were coming up, but it really, it, it, it really deals with people trying to survive and looking for somewhere to have faith, looking for, you know, something mm -hmm. in their life to keep them going. And I think that more of those stories about struggle and overcoming overcoming that struggle, whether they're real stories or, or fiction stories. I think those stories, audiences really want to hear them. We need them now. Yes. I mean, because it helps people to relate to real life. Mm -hmm. And that's how I felt whenever I watched Breakthrough. I felt like it was just, to me, it was empowering. Like, it was like, wow. Mm -hmm. it, look at the power of prayer. Look, yes. This is what prayer does. You know, mm -hmm. and God can do anything. So, yes. yeah, good, good. And we have to remember that. <laughs> is there is there anything else that I did not ask that you would like to add? No, just that it, you know, I think I'm very very proud of this film. I really am and uh and I would love people as many people to see it as possible and not just for me, but because I think it can touch people and change people's lives, which is amazing. I've gotten letters and notes and texts from people um, that have been profoundly affected by this. So it's a story that wants to be told. So let it be told, you know? Yes. Yes, absolutely. Well, thank you, Roxanne, for you so joining me. I am so happy that we were able to do this again. Yeah. My name is Jacqueline Burkpile. I'm the editor at Church Pop, and I'm here with Roxanne Dawson. She is the director of the movie, the 20th Century Fox movie, Breakthrough. So thank you for joining us, and have thank a so wonderful much. day. Thank you so much. Take care. Thank bye -bye. you. Bye-bye.